Namaste. Welcome to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners, a step-by-step -step guide to process simulation. In this problem, uh, let us see how to simulate a simple distillation column, uh, which is used to separate a binary liquid mixture. And the problem statement is as follows. A mixture of 50 mole percent ethyl alcohol and the balance is propanol fed to the distillation column at 100 kilo mole per hour, one atmospheric pressure and 25 degree centigrade. The column has 20 trays, including a reboiler and a condenser. The feed stream enters at tray 10. The reflex ratio is 1.5. Simulate the process to achieve 93 percent of propanol in the bottom stream. First, let us register the pure components required for the simulation. Go to task, pure components, register. So, we need to first register ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol. Next one, as per the problem statement, is propanol. Propanol. Yes, widely chemi used chemicals are pure components in various industries so they are already available in the database we register them click ok only two components next we need to select the unit procedure let us go to unit procedure and uh, you can see here there is something called as distillation and there are three different types of uh, equipments are available in this software one is called as batch equipment let us see how it looks you can see this is the batch equipment and even if you notice the operations, it looks something different. You can notice the way it looks here, the batch distillation. And also, you can have something called as distillation, continuous shortcut. And you can notice here, there is no reboiler or condenser is available in this one. It's a simple equipment. And I cannot add the third one because it is a trial version software. So I'll just remove this. And I'll just show you the difference between this uh, distillation, continuous, regress. So even the equipment wise, you can notice that there is something called as condensers and reboilers are available. And even when you look into these operations also, they are uh, quite different. You can notice the contents are like the parameters which we enter is slightly different uh, from the way we use it in the uh, rigorous mode operation data. You can notice there are slightly uh, changes are available the way we input uh, the data depending upon the requirement when you want to do a complicated uh, uh, balances definitely you go with uh, the rigorous or like a shortcut depending on the requirement uh, in this problem let us go with uh, rigorous distillation rigorous distillation because it says that including reboiler and condenser that is the reason i am choosing this uh, rigorous distillation and let us connect the strings let us connect the strings. so we go to this and this is the feed stream this is the feed stream and this is the uh, bottom product and we can use here this is the top product okay and we can rename this as feed and we can uh, rename it as distillate and this one we can rename it as bottom product bottom product click ok so now let us initiate this feed stream so it is again says that a mixture of 50 mole percent ethyl alcohol and the balance is propanol fed to the distillation column at the rate of 100 kilo mole per hour so first we need to select the kilo mole and also the time we will is already our we'll choose it and you can if you if you directly choose the mode as continuous mode uh, you no need to do this uh, per hour basis right yeah, because as it is a batch mode we have chosen so from the batch i'm taking it to time average okay uh, that is the reason uh, you can see hour or minute whatever you want you can choose it if it is in continuous mode by default this per hour basis you are going to get it and first you have to choose the kilo mole it is 100 kilo mole because given it is in set molar composition because total flow rate is given and composition of uh, each component that is in mole percent it is given that is the reason we are setting molar composition if you are if you directly given how much each component is flowing for example you say 
50 kilomol per hour of propanol, 50 kilomol per hour of ethanol, then obviously we need to choose the set ingredients flow. In this case, we go with set molar composition, 100 kilomol per hour, and we add two components that is propanol and ethyl alcohol. So both are entering it in uh, like 50 percent, it says 50 mol percent. So we select 50, 50. So automatically you can see here yeah, 50 kilomol per hour for each it is updated. And the feed heat entering is 25 degrees centigrade and one atmospheric pressure. If you choose one atmospheric pressure, so that is nothing but 1.013 bar is nothing but one atmosphere. Click OK. Now let us initiate the distillation column. So you can notice here number of theoretical stages in this problem statement is given as 20, 20, and also the feed stage. The feed is entering at the 10th stage, it is given. And also the reflex ratio is given here. It is reflex ratio is 1.5. By default, already 1.5 is available. And uh, list all other parameters. Also stage efficiency. You can notice it is given 93. We will select 93% stage efficiency. And rest all, uh, we go with the default values. And click OK. You can notice the steam is used as heating agent. All these are all av already available. You can see reboiler. So when you want to uh, simulate a real time example or like for example ethanol distillation and all. So many parameters we need to set as such we just go with uh, the default values click OK and uh, perform the balance. So ended successfully a simple balance and you can notice so much is available in the distillate. So you just click on per hour basis and kilo mole if you want to know and you can notice how many kilo mole per hour it is entering. You can easily understand so how much amount of the ethyl alcohol is coming and how much amount of propanol is coming you can easily understand so even you can notice there are other options like rigorous toolbox where you can notice there are other uh, thermodynamic parameters you need to set you can easily solve them so you can do initial values numerical so complicated um, uh, uh, information also could be fed and you can perform uh, complex calculations also I hope you can understand, uh, you understood how to initiate this uh, distillation column and perform the energy balances. Thank you.